Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you something that might be a little hard to follow, but uh, if you get all the way through it, you'll probably learn something that's pretty interesting. I'm going to show you how to randomly generate an entire song using nothing but Reaper and the plugins that come in Reaper and uh, the internet. Alright, so the first thing that you need, besides a computer, is the key of the song that you want to work in. Okay, so uh, what you can do if you have some music or um, you, you want somewhere to start, you can use this very useful musical scale finder where you put in the notes that you want, find a scale, and it gives you all the scales that are possible with those notes. Now, for simplicity, we're just going to go with C major. Okay, C major is just C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. All right, easy peasy. It also tells you the seven uh, normal triads, which we're going to come around to in a little bit. All right, so after you have your key, you're going to open up Reaper, and the first thing you're going to do is you are going to insert a new MIDI item. Okay, and we're going to open up that MIDI item, and we're just going to populate it with notes. Okay. Now, you don't have anything running on it. You don't need anything running on it just yet. All right, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to insert a new track. You're going to arm that track. Right click on the arm. Record output. Record output MIDI. This is very important. All right. Now, this first track here, we're going to call this our baseline. Okay? And this is going to be our random baseline. The second track here, we're going to call this our MIDI plus recent baseline for reasons that will become obvious. All right, first thing we want to do after all the other first things we've already done is we're going to open up the effects chain and we are going to search for JS MIDI variant. Okay, and this is a Jesusonic plugin that will take your MIDI and randomize it for you according to your own parameters. Okay, So let's leave that there for just a second because I want to show you something. Then we're going to open up this second effects track and we're going to put recent there. Okay, looks good. We can just leave it the way it is. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to drag this I.O. to this I.O. When you do so, you don't need any audio because there's no audio coming out of that random baseline track. It's just MIDI, as you can see here. Now, when we have a listen, it randomly gives us beep, 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 beep. Okay? And it will do this randomly every single time. Okay? And the reason that you have two tracks here is that you want to be able to get the MIDI information from the random track. Otherwise you're going to just have to hope and guess, uh, hope and pray that you come up with something good the first time or every time. And we don't want to do that. So, uh, because we're working on the bass line, you'll notice that doesn't sound very bassy. So, open up your first track there, your random uh, MIDI variant track, and uh, you're going to set the scale. Now we chose C major, you can choose whatever you'd like, C major, and then you have octave settings. So right now this is only randomizing notes uh, to the fifth octave, but because this is a bass line, we're going to go ahead and set that to the second octave for the low and fourth octave for the high. Now let's have a listen. All right, so we got a steady do 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 do. All right, let's funk it up a little bit. We'll go ahead and join that track, delete that track, join that track, and or sorry, note, I mean, and have a listen. All right. We'll go ahead and make that even four seconds long. Have another listen, and... All right, got a little bit of a, a funk groove to it. Then we're going to record. And what I want you to do is watch what we're recording here being randomly generated from our 
uh, MIDI track. All right, so now, whoops, now we have a track here. So let's go ahead and mute that. All right, cool. We don't want to do that every single time, right? We want to be able to listen to a myriad of randomly pop, random bass lines and then choose the ones that we want. And that's very easy to do. We just delete our test track there and we run this out to however long you want. You can run it for an hour and have an hour's worth of randomly generated bass lines for you to choose from. But if we put it to 32 seconds here and then we hit record, Okay, then you just cut these up according to however long you want your measures to be. And you have a listen to them. Let's mute that one. And you can choose this one together. You can choose that one if you want. You can choose that one if you want. Possibilities are endless. Okay, you can change the, um, the groove that you've got going here. And you can do that forever and come up with as many bass lines as you'd like. Okay, now our next step, turn that off. Our next step, let's go ahead and say that we like this one here. So we'll copy that, we'll paste that, and now we've got eight seconds of a usable bass line. All right, now we're going to create a melody. And the way that we create a melody is exactly the same. We're going to insert a new track, we're going to call that melody random inside there we're gonna put the MIDI variant okay and this one's a little bit different because it's a melody it's not a bass line right so we don't want the octaves to be very low so we're gonna put the low octave at let's say six and the high octave at eight that gives us two octaves for our notes to be random inside sounds good then we're going to create a new track, arm it, record output, record output MIDI. This one's going to be called Melody MIDI Plus Resynth. Okay. We're going to drag this guy down here. Again, we don't need any audio, we just need the MIDI enabled. All right, we're going to go ahead and pop in Resynth here. And for this one, let's do something different. We don't want everything to just be sine waves, right? Let's do sawtooth. And sawtooth is quite loud, so we're going to turn the volume here way down. Then we have a listen. Aha, what did we forget? We forgot our MIDI track. No problem. Go to your melody random. Insert a new MIDI item. And we want this one to be a little bit different. So we'll do one, two, three, one, two, one. And we will just copy that and paste that. Okay, we're just making something, something up here. All right, sounds good. So again, Home, record. And now you have a randomly generated melody, which you can then all right. Looking good. We've got two parts of our three parts done. Now, how about a rhythm section? For the rhythm section, uh, it can be a little bit different. You're not going to just randomly generate a rhythm section. That's not really how rhythm works, right? Okay, so for this, we're going to go back to our MIDI scale finder and check out the normal triads. These are normal three note chords, which are C, D minor, E minor, F, G, A minor, and B diminished. All you have to do is pick these. Uh, for our purposes, we're just going to pick three random chords. Let's say uh, E minor, F, and G. 
and then we're going to plug them in insert a new track there doesn't need to be armed doesn't need to have inputs we're going to put resynth on it and you don't have to use resynth i mean you can use any virtual instrument i'm just using resynth in case you everybody who has reaper has resynth that's why i'm using this one and we're going to go ahead and make it a pure square wave again that's very very loud so we turn that down then we're going to insert a MIDI item and let's glue that let's see what did I say before E minor F and G All right looks good E minor E minor F and G all right so if you don't know the notes of the chords you can look them up online it's quite easy okay let's have a listen Listen to that by itself. All right, sounds okay. We're going to go ahead and move that up because now it's in the quite, it's in the quite uh, bassy range. So let's move that up a couple of octaves. Okay, let's have a listen. It's pretty Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo riffic there. Um, and just for shits and giggles i'm going to show you how to make that just a little bit more interesting open up your effects chain and type in arp you're going to go with the midi arpeggio program there pop that in front of resynth and if you have a listen our chords become arpeggios let's go ahead and double the rate there And you can play with these settings and change them however you want. All right. And then when we listen to it all together, you've got a bass line. You've got a bass line, a melody, and some chords, all randomly created. Oh, that's just terrible. But you get the idea. You play around with bass line that you like. You can build a melody on top of it, or you can randomly generate a melody. You have some chords, and you need a bass line or a melody. You can randomly create either one of those or both and play around with it, and you can come up with something great, or you can come up with something craptastic like I just did. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, you can uh, send them to me on Tumblr or YouTube or Gmail or Facebook or whatever. It's the internet. You can find me anywhere.